It all started in kindergarten. Wow, your art is so good. Can you draw something for me at lunch in the park? People would always compliment me about my art, and that would make me feel good and warm inside. I would feel confetti pop in my brain. First day of first grade. Can you please draw me? Everyone knew I was the best when it comes to self-portraits. My dream was that my art would soon become famous or in an art store just displaying. First day of second grade. That's so good. I love your dog drawing. I started improving my art skills even more than it was including animals, mostly dogs. First day of third grade. Wow, that's so good. Where did he learn to draw cats like that? First day of fourth grade. Your drawing's nice today, I guess. Either way, did you hear about the new girl? She's really good at drawing. First day of fifth grade. I walked in class all confident because I had improved on all my art skills and I was ready for pencil and paper in my hand when Sophia's kind of better than you, no offense, but hey, you're also kind of good. That day, I felt empty inside. It felt like a car drove over me. No, I wanted a car to drive over me. I felt like I wasn't good enough, like no matter how hard I tried, I would never be good enough. Sophia was always better at shading and drawing the human body, but I couldn't even shade. Every night, I would try to improve my art skills tutorials by tutorials. I was sick of it, but every day she would get better and better without even trying hard. But me? Thoughts would fly through my brain every day and night. You're not good enough. Sophia's better. Meh, you're okay at drawing. I just wanted to scream in my pillow and just let all my feelings out. I felt like I was falling through a pitch black hole of nothingness until one day it would stop. But I thought it would never stop. I just wanted to go shopping or do something that would make me feel good or relaxed. I wanted to drink boba or go to the movie theater with friends. I wish I could be freed by everyone's expectations and be free like a bird or a tree. Even though trees are almost always have to be under people's expectations. One day at school, I remember something my dad would tell me almost every day. Nobody in life is perfect and nobody in life is born knowing everything. Those words made me feel good on the inside and outside. I thought to myself of what my dad said. Everything came clear and made sense to me. People, animals, trees, and everything are always under people's expectations. I also realized she can't draw everything good. Because no one can be good at drawing everything, not even me. I thought maybe she isn't as perfect at drawing as everyone thought she was. She just draws a different style of art. I started accepting how my art skills and styles were, and I felt good while drawing. Everybody draws different, and every picture, portrait, canvas, and drawing is good, even if it's just a stick figure or a flower with a sun in the corner.